and tab uh, Surface Pro out, you're going to need to power off the AC inverter, serial number 1020, switch 2. Disconnect the power cable from the current Surface Pro, connect the new one, power back on the AC inverter, switch 2, power on the Surface Pro, and then you're going to log into that new Surface Pro using the local SSC admin and the long password in the Ninja uh, Ninja 1.2. Once you're logged in, then you'll connect to that same SSC uh, wireless 2.4 gigahertz network. You are speaking my language. I understand all. I am well on it. Thanks. And if you're able to get through all of that and it works, then Matt should be able to complete his activities as written. Okay, so Matt's activity is all hinging on how well I perform this. Got it. Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Yes, I'm ready for the event. KCRA, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is KCRA. Do you hear us? Tracy, your mic's not on. I think they are turning the microphone on in space. Something you need online and me. You think this was my first event? Uh, how do you hear me now? Hi, Tracy. This is Mike Cherry at KCRA. Do you hear me? Mike, I hear you loud and clear. How me now? Oh, perfect. It's great to hear you. We see you. You're just hanging around, literally, so we appreciate that. We have about 30 seconds before I start, uh, before we're live on television. So uh, congratulations, by the way. I, I hear that you uh, know when you're going to be coming home. So that's exciting. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, I'm coming home shortly on Monday. So thank you. All right. We'll talk in just five seconds. Welcome back. Right now, the International Space Station is orbiting Earth, and on board is a NASA astronaut from California. We're talking about Tracy Dyson, a UC Davis graduate and a native of Arcadia. She's on her third mission in space, and this morning, Tracy joins us live from the ISS. Thank you so much for your time. You're just hanging around in space. We appreciate it. You've spent 184 days up there right now. You return home Sunday. Are you excited? Thanks, Mike. Yes, I'm super excited. It's been um, a wonderful uh, uh, six months up here. I've enjoyed the time and the camaraderie and the work, um, but I am, I admit, looking forward to coming home and seeing family. So you've been conducting a number of studies while you've been up there. One is how fire spreads in space. What kinds of applications do you think that could have? I can think of a number of applications. Those that are um, kind of near and dear to our hearts at NASA are those that um, involve spacecraft design, space station design, spacesuit design, you name it. Um, but anytime we come up with um, you know, an understanding of, of any kind of physical um, physical process up here. It always has direct relevance to uh, those uh, that are on the ground. And so um, the applications are pretty widespread. But for us right now, it's in uh, materials um, and uh, spacecraft design and operations. All right. So during six months, I know you've worked on a lot of projects. What do you feel might be the most interesting project that you've worked on? Well, you know it's going to be hard to pick just one uh, interesting project because there's several and they range from the variety of different studies that we do, uh, the different categories of science. One though that comes to mind because my background is not in biology um, is uh, those that involve stem cells as well as um, those that um, use 3D printing techniques in order to uh, replicate tissue. and 
to me, that's just incredibly fascinating to take um, a technique uh, and and try to manufacture uh, human tissue that um, could help us in exploration, say down the road. You know, if we have um, if we're in such a remote uh, environment, we can't. Um, you know, replace organs or tissues, or we need help with uh, healing fast, and we don't have um, the materials there. To to have this kind of research at this point, I think is pretty fascinating and and certainly very interesting. Yeah, your your reality right now is what a lot of folks sci sci-fi is built upon. Uh, this is another question. Go back six months when you first arrived or went to space. Did you get motion sickness? How do you even deal with something like that when you first are, are going into orbit? To answer your question quickly, no, I didn't have any space motion sickness. Um, I'm, uh, I've been fortunate not to have that on any of my missions. Um, but the way that we deal with that is real simple. We have um, a very high tech, um, well, they're called emesis bags, but they're really just a barf bag. And so the you know the real simple way to handle it is that if you feel sick, you've got a, a means to um, to get through it. But we also have um, ways to medicate in case it's really tough to um, adapt. Uh, but for the most part, sometimes you can just focus on um, an area right in front of you and try not to take in too much of your surroundings and move your head around in in um, ways that uh, are a little too uh, abrupt for the experience that you're having for the first time. So there's there's a number of ways to overcome it, and sometimes it just takes a little time. All right, I'm gonna get you out on this question. I know you've been up there for six months. Have you gotten jaded? Is, does it ever get old to look out the window and see Earth so far away? Or are you even able to really see it? It, you know it never gets old. I mean, to see our planet from this vantage point is one of the most miraculous things I can think of. The fact that we're here, that we that we can see our planet amidst the the, the stark contrast of a black universe is is one of the one of the most fascinating things I can think of up here. We don't get to stare out the window very often um, because our timeline is is pretty busy, and um, our opportunities to look out the window are very precious, but it absolutely never gets old. Tracy Dyson, we appreciate your time and all the hard work you've been putting in up there at the ISS. And again, when you get home, you know, enjoy everything. You know, it's been six months after all. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you and thanks to Sacramento. I really appreciate all the support and all the encouragement. Definitely. What an incredible interview. Right? Speaking of space, the moon will be getting a brand new neighbor. But it Station, this is Alrighty. Houston ACR. Thank you. you that concludes here. our event. Thank you, so Thank you to all participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.